As the sun rises over Al Riel, the street fills with workers on their way to the shipyard to begin their shifts. Kenna, Val, and Raiden fall in beside Kailani at the head of the group, while Leon and Rowan hide further back in the crowd. This is it, Kailani. The rebellion starts now. Everything's in place. Hills, how do you all look so calm? My stomach's flopping like a carp on the beach. I'm calm because I know we're going to win. What, you can see the future now? Wish you told me that before I stayed up all night worrying. Nothing like that. Just a good feeling. And when Kenna has a good feeling, Nevraki soldiers die, then usually I have a good feeling. You make me sound scary. Are you not? The workers sift through a line of soldiers guarding the shipyard. None of them pay any attention to Kenna. You blend in well peasant, Kenna. Hurry it up, you lot! Another busy day ahead! The yard is eerily quiet. Kenna waits until everyone has moved to their places. Then catch Kailani's eyes and nod. Whenever you're ready. Right. Here goes everything. Now! As well, the workers throughout the shipyard snatch spears from hidden catches. They charge at the guards. What? Many guards fall, pierced by the hot oak spears. Kenna draws her sword as a guard near her goes on the attack. Kenna's sword glances at the guard's heavy armor. Damn it! Need a hand? Kailani rushes in, her spear stab under the eye slit in the guard's hands. That has got to be an easier way to kill these guys. Guards are good for their armor, but you need a way to crush them. Now holds up her flag. The heavy skull-shaped head jumps on its chin. Birds like a child. I like to use this thing now and then when I'm feeling extra generous. Oh, hold on, I made something that might help. Kailani pulls away a nearby top, revealing an intricate attack to run. When I thought how special that wood was, I got inspired. Couldn't just turn it into a spear like all the others. Cover this baby myself. I call it the wave hand. Then I close the wave hand from its head on us. The top dragon's head cleans with it. It is something to look at, right? but I sure didn't build it for looking. Come on! Enemies incoming! Give the formation! Across the river, Kenna sees Colin and soldiers filling in on the streets, marching towards the shipyard. They hop just on the other side of the bridge, and Florian emerges from the ranks. Well, well. I was wondering how you could expect a visit from the Queen of Stormhead. Would you mind terribly if we skip the part where you denounce me and I quite know you? Since I've been losing most of the productive work there, I'd like to resolve this as efficiently as possible. What's the move? You are too kind. Yeah, thanks to his soldiers. Kill all the leaders, but no more than 20% of the workforce. Soldiers charge across the bridge. Metal rings against hard oak spears as the two sides clash. Now ah! lands a crushing blow with her flare, crumpling the soldier's breastplate on paper. Nearby, Leon slams an enemy soldier against a pillar, knocking him out. Come on, on your left. Kenna sees three soldiers marching towards her. She raises her hand with menacing. Fear my breath. Kenna rushes through. She attacks, catching a lead soldier in the field. Kenna's wave hand connects with the force of a battle, carving in front of the soldier's breastplate. The second soldier stops. Oh my what is that thing? Your worst nightmare. He hesitates, then timidly swings his sword at Kenna. She easily blocks his attack, and then clobbers him with the hammer, sending him flying. The third soldier drops a sword, his knees turn out. Please! Please stop hitting with that thing! Kenna marches forward, and she raises her hand to hand, and brings it down on top of his head. Lord <laughs> spots. No, that was fierce! I'm just getting started. Kenna charges back into battle with renewed vigor, raining down devastating hammer blows on her enemies. <laughs> I like this thing. Thought you might. Oh, he's like it's my turn. Kailani's spear is a blow. She rolls through the battlefield like a hawk. Damn, but it feels good to hold the weapon again. Winding up 
for another strike. Kailani yelps as an arrow flies past her head to strike down a soldier creeping up behind her. Hey, if I wanted my ears pierced, I'd have asked you. Rowan casually draws another arrow and shoots down a soldier fleeing across the bridge. Apologies. Next time I'll let the enemy pierce your skull instead. Don't waste time with underpants, you incompetent layabouts. Protect their queen. A Florian's command. Three soldiers break off from fighting workers and charge straight at Kenny. Oh, I don't like them, folks. Kenny looks around. Overhead, a half-finished canoe hangs from the ceiling and big ropes. If I can reach those ropes, I could drop the canoe on their heads. Kenny runs to one side, planting her foot on top of the barrel. Yeah! Kenny leaps up, deftly unhooking one end of the canoe from the ceiling and landing safely on the harm's way. One of them drops instantly, his armor crushed. The others are knocked to the wall. No! There is a sight for him, Another squad of soldiers marches into the shipyard. Fall back! Everybody fall back! Where in the three hells did they come from? Come now. You didn't think I would engage in a skirmish without a contingency plan, did you? I said fall back! We need a regroup! Fall back to where? The fresh wave of soldiers block their forces' escape over the bridge, while the remains of the first wave pen them on the other side. This isn't good. If anyone has any bright ideas to share, now would be an excellent time. But are so close. We can't give up now. I'll think of something. I... I just wish I hadn't been such an ass to Noah last night. If I hadn't, then maybe... Kailani is interrupted by a nearby commotion. Noah? Noah bursts from an alley, tackling the nearest soldier to the ground. This is for the double shift you built right. Many workers start firing at the buildings all over town, following Noah as he fights his way through Florian's soldiers. When he reaches Kenna's group, Noah puts a hand on Kailani's shoulder, squeezing hands. She smiles and punches him in the eye. Took you long enough, you big lung. Just wanted to make you sweat a little. Fools, you are still outnumbered. You can't hope to retake the city. Maybe not, but we can take something else. Brother, I like the way you think. So do I. Everyone, get to the boats. You have their lazy clowns. To the boats! Forward! All around town, the shipbuilders yell battle cries and raise their hard work spears, fighting their way toward the fleet of finished boats tied up at the docks. Kenna leads the charge, swatting soldiers aside with mighty blows from her wave hand. Looks like you were right about three dragons being good at combatting. Looks got nothing to do with it, Majesty. Finally, they reach the docks. The shipbuilders leap into the canoes, slicing through morning lines and casting out the practices. Kenna jumps in beside her man. Rowan keeps a steady stream of arrows pouring into the nebulous ranks as the rest of her companions climb the board. Time to show you why I named this boat Swift. Full speed ahead! Kenna hurled the six lines all around her, like oak spears are dipped into the water, propelling the boat forward with incredible speed. Oh, we're going so fast. After them, those boats are my property. You have boats? Build them yourself. All Riel fades into the distance. Kenna stands at the bow of Swift, the sea wind whipping her hair. Noah stands in his own canoe a few feet away, breathing in the salty air with a smile on his face. Gods, but that feels good. I haven't been on the open water in years. It does feel good to breathe the free air again. I just wish we could have given Florian the proper thrashing he deserves. Once we defeat Luther, we'll be able to return in force. I promise you, the Kingdom of Ebramel will be free again. And that includes Ulriel. Hear that, Noah? Bet you're glad you joined our little rebellion now. I would have hated to leave you behind. You helped us out of a dire situation, big guy. What do you say about joining our merry band for a while longer? I'm not sure. Being out on the ocean again reminds me of simpler times. Happier times. Me and some of the others were thinking of going back to the islands, where our ancestors came from. Luther's cronies might not find us there. We could use a strong soldier like you, and your friends would strengthen our army considerably. Come on, Noah. You and your friends aren't going to get the good times back by pedaling off into the horizon. Ken is giving us a chance to make a real difference here. 
we help her take out the Blood King and we could get our home back for real. Besides, why do we spend all that time working on our signature moves if we're not even gonna use them in battle? Noah looks from Kailani to Kenna, conflicted. Kailani makes a good point. If you want things to be right again, you have to make them right. I know, Luther. You and your people won't be safe so long as he rules. Help us stop him. Help us make the Five Kingdoms safe for everyone. Well, I didn't think it was possible for someone to get me into more trouble than Kai ever has. Does that mean you're joining us? Against my better judgement, I am. Welcome aboard. Looks like you have your fleet, Kenna. Damn right she does. All the boats we've got. With 500 fit and fearsome fighters to crew them. Luther won't know what hit him. Now that you have your fleet, what comes next? Next, we sail to Lycos. Whoa, Luther's capital? Bold move. We need to take control of the city before Luther returns, or else we'll be dealing with attacks on two sides. Years ago, Luther invaded my home and stole my crown. I think it's time he learned what that feels like. Shackled by one of Hex's inventions, Dominic and Say march up the mountain path that leads away from her village. He struggles against the chains that bind his hand against his own face. I have to get free. I have to continue my training. I'll never learn to control my powers by end of Hex's lab rat. Resistance is useless, Lowlander. Focus. Calm yourself. Unless you want to burn your own face off. Good point. Dominic tries to relax. Hex falls back from her position line, looking down at Dominic from atop a large black horse. Isn't life magnificent in its mysteriousness? Pick a hell and rot there. Still so argumentative. I see our time apart has done nothing to blunt that tongue of yours. I was beginning to lose hope of ever finding anyone else like you, beast. I heard rumors of another fire freak, of your people's famed dragon tamer of black spine. But none of them could tell me where he is. No matter how much I tortured them, I eventually concluded that this man was mere folklore. Dominic turns to say, expecting her to lash out, but instead... <laughs> it's gone. He has to be. Else you'd be a blackened corpse right now. If it makes you feel better, my dear, by all means continue believing in your fairy tale hero and his fictional dragons. That silliness doesn't matter now. Soon, I'll have two more obedient puppets in my collection. I do hope the two of you won't break as easily as your friend Anton. You know how I love a challenge. Hex gleefully spurs her horse away from them. I'd like to burn that grin off her face. It'd be so satisfying to just... Say, are you alright? Despair fills Say's eyes and her hands glow hot with fire. I'm not going to be your slave. Never again. Whoa, Say, you need to calm down. You need to control your anger, like you told me. Focus, be calm. I can't, not anymore. Just stop trying, Lowlander. There is nothing left for me in this world. The fire surrounding Say's hands glow hotter from orange to an intense blue. <sighs> Look at me, Say. Don't give up. You have plenty of reasons to live. Name one. What about your grandfather? That man Hex spoke of the Dragon Tamer. He's my grandfather, and if he hasn't come to help, then he's surely dead. You don't know that. I know my kin better than you. He would not allow these atrocities. Smoke begins to rise from Say's hands and face. Goodbye, Lowlander. No, I'm not gonna lose you too. Dominic moves in closer to Say. He moves in, pushing his face over her hands. What are you doing? You'll burn. So what? You don't care about your life. Why should I care about mine? You're being stupid. I'm the stupid one here. You're the one trying to burn your own face off. <sighs> Fine. Your act of idiocy wins for now. The fire on Say's hands disappears. She gives Dominic an appreciative nod. That's all I want to get for saving your life. Huh, I'll take it. What's going on back there? Nothing, just plotting out how we're going to kill you. Hmm, I see you've still got your sense of humor. 
That won't last long. Dominic stops, his attention caught by a figure hiding in the rocks nearby. What is it? Why are you stopping? But the figure is gone. Nothing. Just thought I saw someone. An old man. Grandfather! Kenna's fleet skirts around the southwestern coast of Abanthus. Nearing her destination, Kenna conceals most of her fleet in a hidden cove, sailing a single canoe into the wolf's mouth. On the bay's southern shore sits Lycos, the capital city. The wolf's mouth. I've seen it on maps, but this is my first time here. At least we made it this far. Just wait, brother. With our new pals, we're going to topple Luther's whole rotten kingdom. Something must be wrong with me. I'm actually starting to believe you. This is our chance to recover from battle and prepare for the final attack against Luther. With some work, we should be able to keep the Ariel naval forces here hiding. Perfect. We'll be right under their noses. Paying this close to the heart of the Neverkiss territory makes my skin crawl. I agree. Lycos is a dangerous city. We'll need to be cautious. Doesn't look so evil from here. Kenna and her friends gaze out across the bay at the city of Lycos in the distance. Don't be fooled, my exuberant friend. There's more to Lycos than meets the eye. I'll be ready for it. We'll be ready for it. You just always have to have the last words, don't you? If all has gone according to plan, Annalise should be awaiting for us at the docks. A short time later, they're barely ashore when Kenna spots Annalise hurrying down the pier, tears in her eyes. Annalise, what's wrong? Kenna, it's with Mark. You need to see him. I told them to stay and rest, but he insisted. Annalise takes Kenna to a secluded area of the beach. Whitlock sits on the sand, his body covered in freshly bandaged wounds. She hurries to kneel at his side. Kenna! Whitlock, are you okay? I'm fine. These injuries are nothing. It's the others. Kenna takes Whitlock's hand as tears well up in his eyes. Whatever happened, we'll get through this. We'll fight together. No, there's nothing we can do. It's too late. What do you mean? It's gone, Kenna. The foundry is gone. 